throwaway functions. This is yet another story of laziness. Okay, as usual, let's just start with a example, which is super simple. I want to add number three to a collection of numbers. So I know that I need a function add three that takes a number, let's call it n, and um, I just add three to that number. Okay, let's test add three. Ten, fifteen. Okay, it's awesome. Right, so add three minus three zero. Fine. So now I can map this function over let's say oops. Let's just do Fine, so job done. It um, was a simple thing. Um, so why am I unhappy? Well, because uh, I don't like giving names. And that's what I, I did here. So there is a possibility that uh, we can just use a function. So if, imagine that this add three is actually not needed. And that's true, so not all functions we write is for eternity. It's just we want to have a throwaway, just use it once and throw it away. And um, if I just want to have a, a function that is used once, and I still have the burden of giving a name to it, then it's like, yeah, that's, um, that's a thing we don't like. And, um, you know, this is a good name, add three, but it's the actual the body of the function, well, it's almost as obvious as the name itself. Okay, so I don't have to come up with um, with the name. So what? Um, of course, well, I, I can, you know, do this, and um, I can use it as a function literal. In a different mode now. Okay, so this would work as well, right? Because um, I have this function literal so I saved naming the function because I just use it once now I, I don't need all the things above okay so it's actually I can erase these I don't need a three anymore I can just do it but I still have to give an, a name and that's that's annoying um, because this function just takes one argument and I still have to decide oh, whether I call it x or n and um, so what would be really nice if there was something like this okay and it is possible Called the lambda function. Ah, oh, okay, now it's totally messed up. What happened to my. Uh, There is something like this. The only problem is we're still with n, and um, I can replace that with the um, uh, 
Okay, well, I guess I will. I'm not familiar with this mode. I don't know how I switched to this one. But okay, this is what I wanted to say. Um, so we don't need to name the argument. It's just I have um, this percentage symbol. And that stands for the argument. Okay, now this works fine as well. What happens if you want to have a throwaway function that um, has uh, more than one argument? Well, it's uh, certainly a possibility. So let's say I want to add three numbers plus, together plus 10, and I have one, two, here. And, uh, three, four. Okay. So I can refer to uh, the first argument as percentage one and the second percentage two. Of course, I need the, the hash mark here. And um, so what this does takes one and three, add them up. So that's 4 plus 10, that's 14. Okay, then takes the second from each collection, 2 plus 4, that's 6, plus 10, uh, 16. Okay, this would also work if I, well, I just use the percentage uh, symbol for the first character. I don't have to say it's the first one. So these are called lambda functions. And um, for um, why is that? Well, it's um, historical reasons. When, when the original uh, mathematics behind uh, closure and Lisp or functional programming in general was done in mathematics, that was lambda calculus. And the reason um, why the the Greek uh, letter lambda was chosen because uh, if I remember correctly because someone in the press said that oh, it would be better to use this character because it's, no one is, is using that so it's actually the printing press chooses this but now it's everything lambda and it's lambda functions okay so that's just a bit of a story. Okay, so you can use a shorthand notation for throwaway functions, so you can save the naming of the function and you can also save naming of the argument. You just have to use the hash mark and that makes it into a function literal. Okay, strictly speaking, you don't have to use this, but you might find it uh, useful. And if you read someone else's code, then you will find that um, it's there and it's, it's used. Of course, if you have a complicated function, you don't want to uh, define it as a lambda function, because if it's complicated, so it's not that I can just look at it and I can read it, then you really want to choose uh, good names, which is a telling name it's for, for yourself and other readers of the code. But if you need something quick, then you can just use uh, these lambda functions.